Uh, right, right, welcome back everybody to YouTube channel BTC TV and we continue to do videos about blockchain business, about different crypto companies in this space. Today I'm happy to present you detailed review of Parastate project, what it is about and why this project everybody is calling Ethereum on steroids. You're just going to learn in a couple seconds. Meanwhile, I want to encourage everybody, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel BTC TV that you will be able to get updated on what is going on in the blockchain world so let's get started with the video regarding parastate and uh, what is it all about as you can see parastate takes ethereum chain support to the next level through wasm edge develop and execute high speed smart contracts with built in ethereum capability and next level and so on and so on so it's like when you read it, it's like too much technical stuff but let me explain you deeply why why this one project is important and what is it about for doing this i have two videos which i prepared about which will explain you a little bit what is about then we will go to with my vision about this one uh, so let's get started with these two small videos about parastate welcome to parastate the premier blockchain solution with integrated eWASM and EVM technology, where next-gen Web3 applications and developers have no limits. We are Ethereum on steroids, due to a couple solutions unique to Parastate. Firstly, we provide true interoperability that bridges the gap between Ethereum's large user base and the elevated technology of other major networks. This is accomplished by combining an innovative WebAssembly-based substrate module with Polkadot's multi-chain ecosystem, allowing for bi-directional compatibility between Ethereum and non-Ethereum-based smart contracts. This allows for a seamless drag-and-drop smart contract experience for developers to utilize when expanding their projects to new networks. The second major solution Parastate offers is its toolings to enable writing Ethereum-compatible smart contracts in more popular languages, including Rust and other domain-specific languages, unifying a broader developer community, breaking down the walls of developer accessibility from the traditional internet sector, and future-proofing the entirety of Web3 development. Our immense innovation, combined with a true passion for Web 3.0 long-term growth and sustainability, is what cultivated the Parastate solution. To learn more about why we are Ethereum on steroids, check out our website at www.parastate.io. Parastate is a decentralized autonomous organization, or DAO, funded by developer treasuries and governed by the state token. When the Parastate runtime infra extends to other networks that want to achieve high-performance Ethereum compatibility, a small portion of the gas fees generated is automatically collected as a license fee for the Parastate DAO treasury. The DAO's open treasury wallet accepts various native tokens across different deployed blockchains, so the intrinsic value of state will be backed by a basket of native cryptocurrencies. At the very beginning, the Parastate Foundation will manage the treasury and execute the DAO's decision. Ultimately, the Parastate DAO will be governed by the state token holders, who can vote on how the treasury uses, such as for new software features, developer programs, community incentives for developers and advocates, L1, and Parachain, or Polkadot, participation. So, as you can see, Parastate is bringing Ethereum smart contracts to the Polkadot multi-chain. And uh, my question it will be, uh, like, you had, like, why do dApps in the largest ecosystem of Ethereum want to migrate to the Polkadot, right? Why do they want it to do this one? And the answer is really very simple one, because Polkadot is one of the next generation layer one chains, uh, bringing, like, scalability and speed to blockchain application. So, basically, in other words, Parastake has solved one of the most challenging problems which is right now uh, developers today have like by allowing b-directional compatibility between ethereum and 
non-Ethereum based smart contracts uh, and one of them like uh, benefits which we can also say is like high efficiency also access to a larger developer community uh, reduced operation costs and most important guys is gas fees everybody knows about Ethereum gas fees so as you know basically building a dApp or blockchain for high performance environments is really complicated and time a time consuming and now you can really quickly assemble a parastate building block to your ethereum compatible dApps and deploy it on polkadot simply like drop and drop your ethereum solidity code to the polkadot ecosystem and run ethereum dApps within polkadot ecosystem with no like little to no change uh, changes in your code at all so parastate provide dApps with seamless integration to polkadot ecosystem as a parachain and the gemini's network uh, let me actually talk a little bit about this one is the first one polkadot parachain supported by the advanced technical staff of parastate so polkadot crowd loans have become the most popular way to project to finance your parachain auction bids so next one which i wanted to, to mention in this video is like why to vote for the mini uh, Geminis network parachain why you need to do this one as the first polka dot parachain supported by really by the advanced technical stack of parastate the community is super excited about launching as a parachain so everyone can benefit from bidirectional ethereum compatibility on high performance blockchains true to ethos of decentralized governance your vote can help really Gemini's network become a polka dot parachain and Gemini's need the support of parastate and polka dot community the holders of dot like parastate Gemini's is like decentralized DAO and according to co-founder of parastate uh, the main purpose of this one is fully decentralize this project and let it be government by a DAO this means that that you not Facebook or for example Google or YouTube control the power rewards to decide on technology that will run your life so that is why you can exercise your right to vote and make it easy to build application infrastructure of high performance blockchains by voting for the Geminis uh, network parachain in Polkadot crowd loan auction so question will be right now is like okay what tokens do you need it to participate and for doing this one you need it to have simple uh, polka dot native token which is colon dot dot and the minimum is commitment is one uh, dot so if you do not hold on in your wallet you can buy uh, dot at any native excuse me at, at any major exchanges there are many of them are supporting and you will need it to have one of this one uh, another question will be like when uh, gmini network is crowd loan and it will take part in the first polka dot slot auction number 11 okay uh, from march 3rd one to 10 uh, of march of this year 2020 two guys uh, so that is why to participate in what you are required to log a portion of your dot right for the duration of the slot lease in exchange you will earn rewards in the Gemini's native token so you will be locked dot right and for that period of time you will be uh, you will earn rewards in the Gemini's native token is jam right and as a crowd loan supporter of parachain auction you will earn 10 gems for each one dot additionally if for example parastay win the auction additional dot will be rewarded uh, rewards will be allocated as well and reward cup crowd loan rewards are not a drop in the bucket uh, gminis right now is giving 15 percentage of the gem token supply uh, which is like big number for those who support is vote uh, for a parachain slot so for more information regarding reward distribution you can read at the Geminis network 
and uh, how do you will vote for the parastate crowd loan you can support uh, Gemini's network parachain vote through one of the following three platforms uh, two of them I will show you in this video is polka.gs.org right this support Gemini network uh, another one is parallel uh, support uh, Gemini's network via parallel and the last one is Bitfrost. So, and remember, we are speaking about decentralized community, about decentralized world, where you are actually making decision which tabs will be in real life, which you will use in gaming, in financing. So that is why if you like have interest to have these dApps to be already live in the system you needed to vote for parastate right and for gemini's network and because again this is decentralized world and only we are like community we are making decision on that so basically that's it about this project again uh, don't forget to subscribe to btc tv youtube channel uh, give likes comments below this video thanks for watching this video and uh, see you in the next one bye for now